Hi there, I'm Karen from Be Creative and I am here with some organizing tips and tricks having to do with some really great organizing products that we are known for at Be Creative. And I must start by saying I'm probably most guilty of being disorganized because I don't know about you, but I just get in the moment with creativity and my stuff's kind of everywhere. I think I've taken over every room in the house while we've been home here. Um, so the cabinet behind me, I'm not going to open because I just have to tell you it is full, full, full of stuff I need to organize. But let me just say, if you've got this kind of a thing in your house, like a bag, any kind of Ziploc, if Ziploc is part of your organizing um, method, then it's time to move on from that because we can't find anything in these Ziplocs. I know we feel like we're getting organized, but let's get beyond that and talk about some fun things that'll help us because once we're more organized, it helps us be just not worry about all the clutter and just focus on the creativity. So to start, let's talk about um, stamps and dies and how to organize those. So I would say one of our most popular items are the magnetic storage um, stamp and die panels. So what's so great about this is because if you have a box of dies or stamps, um, that is just a mess to try and comb through. And so these panels, one side is gonna be clean for your clear stamps and one side is gonna be magnetic. They're three hole punch, they come in a couple sizes. So what happens is you can put your, on one, oops, they're all sticking together. So on one side you've got your magnetic and on one side you've got your stamps like that. If you had an all magnetic, they'd all stick together. But this is a great way to organize stamps and dies that go together. You can put them in a binder that is made for this or great hack, just go to like Office Depot or Staples or one of those and get a small planner size tree ring binder to put these in. And as far as like how many you can fit, it really depends on the thickness of the stamps, um, but you can get quite a few pages in there. So that is a really fun item. As far as organizing um, your ribbon and, and glue and all those types of things, um, I've got this guy. Totally Tiffany is something we're currently stocking um, her whole buddy bag line, which are all the different bags, different sizes to hold things like ink and paint and you name it, washi tape. This one I've got my ribbon in, I've got some stickle, stickle glitter gel and some ink in there. There's a whole host of sizes and ranges in that. They also do a gr really great uh, 12 by 12 paper keeper, which is really fun. Now, as far as um, ink and daubers, if you have your daubers in a bag like this, this isn't really working for you either. So much better would be to get the daubers in the dauber case, it all comes together. You can see what you have. You could even put little um, stickers on the back to indicate what color is what if you are sticking with more of the warm tones, cool tones, and you're mixing them around. It's a great way to go. Um, dauber storage case. As far as things like um, stickles, glitter glue, and ink pads and all that, these are our Be Creative Tool Totes. Um, it's a really durable plastic, um, not even plastic, more like a vinyl. This is made in the U.S. It is not um, made outside of the U.S. So I will just say that it's really thick and very, very sturdy with the um, really nice zipper on there. And you can cram, I forget at last count how many I had in here, but it's I think well over 50 stickles. So that's kind of fun. No dividers in there, so you can put other stuff. You can do ink pads, you can do all of your tape runners. Lots of fun things can fit in a bag like this. Um, another fun bag that we do, that is the really heavy vinyl plastic, would be the total long bags that are designed to go with our pen trays. Um, you could put anything in this. It comes nice and gusseted in and you just pop it out. But I do wanna show you a helpful hint um, when we get into our pen racks because that is the most important thing is storage of pens and markers. It is a nightmare, as I said earlier, to have them in a bag like this. So getting them in a rack is a really great thing to do. We have a couple different racks that come either loose, like single trays like this, or you can buy them in sets. You can buy them in the blue clear, or you can buy them in black. So you have lots of options, but these do stack up so that you can um, put them in the bag, or you can just put them on your countertop. And what's nice too is, let me just show you really quickly, these can stack, let me move this out of the way, you can stack this either straight up or you can stack it on a slight um, incline. If there's little notches on here, so if you just feel with your fingers, you can hit the notch and then invert them. You can also stack them side by side. There's a notch so you can do them 
wide like this to get a more wide um, display if you have a ton of markers. So you can go as high as you want and too wide. Um, there's 12 slots per rack, so you could go 24 wide. So as far as getting this into the bag, let me show you that really quick. There's going to be six trays that fit in a bag like this. Now you can buy it all done. That looks like this. This will hold 72 pens. Um, there's nothing better than to be able to take your pens with you to a crop and then just have it ready to go sitting on your desktop like this. So you can buy it all done, but if you've got um, trays at home and you want to put them in a bag, uh, that is the question I get asked the most is like, how do I get the trays in the bag? It doesn't fit. I'm having an issue. So let me just show you that really quick because it does take a little bit of um, wiggling. So I've got six trays. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six high. And I just kind of feel it with my fingers here like that. I've got my bag open. I make sure it's nice and wide and open like this with the flap out. And then I even have pens in here. I'm going to grab, whoa, grab the whole thing. And I'm just going to, with the flat side facing the flap, I'm going to tuck this in. Corner, corner, and then I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all the way around like this. And you just have to work your way around the entire bag to get that in. So sliding in piece by piece isn't going to work. You got to get the whole thing in and just like that. Now I've got that in there and I'm ready to go. Or you can just buy it all done. Up to you, whichever you want to do. Um, a couple other fun things. We've got the um, stamp pad storage. That comes like this, similar to the pen storage where they stack up. You can get that in a bag as well to go. But this is great because, you know, you may have a lot of different varieties of stamp pads. Even the um, square ones, not the rectangular, but like the Tim Holtz Distress ones are square. And you would think this would slip back in this, but there's a lip here. So it stops it from sliding all the way back if you do have a smaller size pad, which is great. So no matter the brand, now if it's a real jumbo one, you have to, you do have to measure that, but most traditional size stamp pads will fit, fit in here. And again, you can stack it up and do whatever you want with that, which is great. Um, a couple other pen holders that are really fun would be if you just want something fun and whimsical. This is the this is from Ranger. These are great to hold um, pens, markers, calligraphy, journaling pens, planner pens, all that good stuff. Really pretty with the gold, um, the gold zipper on there. And then, of course, there's this marker holder, which is from Spectrum Noir. What's nice about this one is it's all Velcroed. It's all soft, but canvas, very sturdy. You Velcro it together. It's got the portfolio inside and it's going to hold the longer markers like the tri-blend or if you have markers that are really longer than a traditional marker and it's got 48 um, holder spots in there and what you can do is keep it in there or you can just put it on the outside like this when you open it up tuck this in and now i've got like a, an artist easel stand which is really great to work with um, at my disposal i can see what i have and color with it which is really great um, beyond that, what else have I got to show you? Oh, the table tidy. That's kind of fun. So this guy is from Tonic Studios. It is kind of the big brother to the old fashioned little cup holder you used to see. I had one on my table. I took it off just so you could see it. It will snap onto any size table. These kind of screw up and you can put, you can use it as a trash can. You can put your tools in there to get more space on your tabletop. Or as my dad used to say, you can put your margarita and chips in here because we all need to snack when we're cropping. So lots of options. So, and beyond that, if you're going to go to a crop or just be on the go, of course, you've got your storage bag. This is my favorite, of course. I'm partial to our Be Creative bags, which hold the 12 by 12 storage box, but you can fit all kinds of goodies in there. So, so many things that you can use to get yourself organized. And um, I just say buckle down and do it one day so then you have all the other days to be creative.